few people. Okay, I hope so. Um, if you remember that scene at the very end where she's running through, that was filmed here. It's a, it's across a whole mountain. It's after the god goddess Anari, um, who is the patron of rice. So you can kind of tell why this divine would be important. Um, and it's just, you could spend a whole day just hiking around and wandering here. It's so beautiful. And finally, Hiroshima and Miyajima are the last ones I'm going to highlight. Um, Hiroshima, for obvious reasons of historical importance, I hope I don't have to explain that to anyone. Um, that's the A-bomb dome. That was about a half mile from the epicenter of the blast. And because the force was downward, it was the only building that survived, rather than the force being outward. So they have that, and they have a museum. It's only 50 yen to get into the museum. I highly recommend it. Um, the museum does have, of course, a kind of a bit more Japanese victim's history of the war. I'm not here to get into a debate of what's going on. I'm just saying there is kind of a, a <laughs> no, I'm just saying that it, it has kind of a, you'll see things like, and there were some Korean people who were also in Hiroshima, where if you know the history, there's a lot more to it than just that. Um, Miyajima is an island off Hiroshima. It's like an hour out from the city in a ferry ride. It's one of the three most scenic places in Japan. It has the floating quarry. This is actually the shrine that it sits on the water. Go in the summertime because of the way the moon works. The water levels are higher in the summertime and it's gorgeous. Um, it's actually a shrine for guiding back the souls of lost sailors. So it's really beautiful. Um, Miyajima is just fantastic. If I could move to one place, I'd move there. So, oops. I'm gonna open it up to questions and I'm gonna leave this up here. These are a few useful sites. 